Quack. Hello, this is Anthony, back for another video. This will be the first video in my series appropriately named WAT. This series is heavily inspired by a lightning talk given by Gary Bernhardt that you've probably already seen. If you haven't, I'd highly suggest checking it out. As always, the link will be in the description. Unlike Gary's talk, I'll attempt not only to show you the WAT, but also the why. I'm also not as funny as Gary. Womp womp. Without further ado, let's get into the WAT for today. This one is in Python and was originally shown to me by my good friend Liz. Alright, let's open up an interpreter and jump right into this one. So we have our expression from before, false equals equals false in false. Just to show you that there's no tricks, I'll show you that false is equal to false. That's true, fortunately. And I'll also show you that false is in false. Also true. Let's take the expression and split it into the two parenthesized forms. So the first one would be false equals equals false in false. And if we try and evaluate this, you're going to get true because false is equal to false in false. And this is pretty obviously false. And fortunately, we get false. Let's look at the other parenthesized combination. We have false equals equals false in false. And if we look at this one, uh, the print size portion is true. And false equals equals true is, again, false. So we get false. So you would think, if we've tried both combinations, that removing the parentheses would give us the same answer. And unfortunately, we would be wrong. It gives us true. Whack. So... In order to figure out this problem, I'm going to analyze the AST, and I'm going to install a library that I wrote called AST Pretty that helps us visualize this a little bit better. So we're going to import the AST and AST Pretty, and we're going to parse the the uh, expression. AST parse false equals equals false in false. And I happen to know this produces a module object, and we're going to look at the first thing in the body's value. And we get out a single comparison expression. Now, the trick here is it's a compound compar comparison expression. That is, it has more than one operator. And in this case, it's comparing this false value that we see here in the, the left-hand side of the comparison against two different things. The first, it's equaling this false here, as you see down here, this false and equal. And the second operator is the containment operator. And it's seeing if it's inside this list here. So compound comparisons are a pretty neat feature in Python. You might see something like this, where you would have five is less than X is less than seven. Now, in other languages, you would need to express this as two different comparisons joined together with an AND, such as this. If we were to express our original expression in the same way, you would get something like false equals equals false and false and false. And as we saw before, this is clearly true and this is clearly true. And since they're joined by an AND, true and true is true. As always, thanks for watching. Have a wet one. 